Hello everyone, welcome to Peeber Academy Android Hacking Series. I'm super excited to meet you all with Chapter 3, Hacking the Android with Malicious APK. So if you didn't watch my previous chapters, so please feel free to check out this, both the chapters. So using Android Rat, I just showed you how Android devices are hacking. And second chapter, I have just showed you how Android devices can be hacked using a link. So please go and feel and check it if you guys really enjoying this video feel free to subscribe this channel and give a like to this video without further delay let's get into the video Disclaimer: this video is purely for education and information purpose i don't encourage any malicious or harmful activities i'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video you are solely responsible for your action and use this knowledge responsibly and ethically please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other system or networking is strict prohibited and illegal even this video demonstrated ethical hacking practice in my lab environment so let's go and quickly understand what we are going to do on this video so let's go and see it over there so what we are going to do is in this is a plan is so if we are going to have a original apk probably you can download any original apk you can do it the reason why we are downloading this virtual apk is because this is comes with already certified self-certified and valid everything will be there so that is why we are picking a original apk a simple google search will help you to get the google apk whatever you're looking for it once you are done we are going to create a malicious uh, payload using msf venom Okay. in this what in this process what we are going to do is we are basically we are going to decompile both the android apks okay then we are going to merge into a single apk with the signed so what and all we are going to do is we are going to get the signatures signed it so that we can bypass the uh, google play protections and those things we can do it over there and then once from here we are that is why we are downloading the original apk after the sign is done then this metasploiter this uh, payload malicious will permissions what are the permissions needed for hacking everything will be adding over there after that it will become a malicious completely embedded payload will be ready over there so once we are transferred to the victim victim once this clicked it we will be getting a backdoor connection of uh, so basically we are hacking the android so this is the process we are going to do right now so without further delay let's go and see it before getting into this video before starting it let's see what are the requirements are needed to do this one otherwise you will be ending that you will not able to I means recreating or while you creating something you will be ending in some other issues or things over there so what we will do is we will first of all we will see what are the requirements things are needed for them so first of all so the first one what you needed is this alignment so this is basically you need this tool so installing is very simple sudo apt install zipline after that you install you have to install the apk signer so this is actually where the signatures will be decrypting and embedding with the malicious and all those things are needed so apk signer you need to install it the last tool is you have to install apk tool uh, how to install so this is the commands you can use sudo apt install you can do it and this is also sudo apt install apk signer you can install it without any issue but there is a certain process you have to way you have to do install apk2 if you're not doing properly end of the day you're not able to compile the uh, maybe you'll be as i said earlier you'll be ending in the some error messages so how we can install apk over there so to install this apk tool you have to go to this link official website i'll be giving the link of all the things whatever a discussion in the description so you no need to worry about it so you have to go to the official and since we are going to install this on linux so the first one is you have to download the script so it will take you to the this page github what you have to do is you have to go sudo nano nano is a one more editor uh, so or you can anything editor whatever you are familiar you can use that one so sudo nano and you have to create a file called apk tool then you have to paste this one uh, 
after the pasting this one so the second one is you have to go and download the latest version at the time of recording the apk tool version is 2.9.3 so you go and download this one so once you are downloaded both the scripts and everything so you will be having a two file okay so when you are downloading something this will be downloading as the version so please rename this file into apk tool dot jar so two files you will be having it apk tool jar file and apk tool this one. so this is a basically this is great this is the jar file you have downloaded so you, now what you need to do is you need to move this both the file to this directory user local directory bit okay after you are directed you just need to navigate to this path uh, and give a permission ch mode to both these files okay once all you're done perfectly you have to run this apk tool dot one more time this is what it is then it will be updating to the latest version and will be ready go down. so once you've done all this process correctly so you you are installed successfully the apk tool on this one once you are done with the installations now you can as i said earlier a simple google search will land you to whatever the apk you needed to download over there in my example i'm just taking a ludo king apk as my example so simple just i did a google just went for a ludo king apk and some other website i just quoted so you can use it anything simple search google help you to uh, download the apk so if you see that i have already downloaded the ludo apk so now what i'm going to do is as i said earlier the plan now now I'm going to decompile this APK and going to merge my malicious APK with it. Uh, so end of the day, I'll be getting a malicious APK. Once the creation is done, I'll be transferring to the victim. And once the victim is clicked, I'll be able to hack the Android. So with let's go and see how to do it. So let me go and start the ng-rock. Uh, because we need a uh, ngrock to be run it so that's why we can able to hack over the internet over there so ngrock tcp uh, that is the reverse shell we are going to do. and the port number what i'm going to is one two three four you can change anything whatever as you wish but remember this is the port is very very important otherwise you will not get the backshore connections over there so now it is started so uh, ngrock is now it is fine so now let's go back uh, msf venom hyphen p so the payload what we are going to create is android so android backslash metapreter so basically i need a shell based one so that is why i'm using a metapreter and reverse tcp one okay here l host we have so basically listening host is where the connection is has to come so here only that that is why we have to uh, create at the ngrock so instead of calimation ip address we have to give uh, the ngrock one so just copy from zero to till io and just place it after that give a space uh, l port is equal to and you have to give the same port number so in this case one nine four five six so let me copy this one and paste it okay so all done now i need to merge the payload uh the payload which i have downloaded ludo right so just ensure you are in the same path where it is downloaded otherwise if suppose the download file was in a different just get, try to give a complete folder okay so in my case i am already the create in the downloads folder and the file is also there so i just need to give a x and the file name is ludo.apk okay that is a file i have to give it it so just ensure the file name is same okay i have given it correctly so now what the next step is f raw so the format what i need to give is raw format uh, so it should be a raw format right? and finally the output uh, merge everything the metaphor along with this one and the output the fallacious uh, final version of it it should be like ludo k you can name it whatever uh, comes on your mind or you can relate it to your uh, apk whatever you're using on it so this is the syntax just please ensure uh, so msf venom uh, payload this is a payload you are creating l host is basically ngrock listening port and the port number and you are going to uh, embedded the malicious payload whatever the payload what you are creating with this apk and it should be the format should be raw that is why it will be the, the final version this is what we are going to get output okay so once you are confident with the command just click enter it will start uh, decompiling as i said it will start decompiling the malicious payloads and the original and it start merging into one uh, so it will take some time let's wait for the process to be get complete over there
okay so the apk is generated so let's go and see quickly what is actually done here so what happened is it's creating a sign key on key store decompiling as i said earlier it's decompiling the original apk and decompiling the payload apk and looking for the weakness points and it is modifying the all the permissions because once a victim give the permissions only we can able to do more like for example we can access camera we can read the sms we can read call logs or maybe we can we will have a super administrator we can install any other apks as well over there once it is done so it is basically creating again one more sign it's a compiled one and finally we are getting the saved you uh, output whatever we are so now the malicious apk is ready so let me try to transfer this file to the victim machine and we will try to run and see what is actually happening and we will so before uh, trying to work let's go and create a listener listen is very important because when the victim is open so the connection has to establish back and that is why we will get the uh, reverse shell on it so to do that we have to use the command called sudo msf control iphone q or just uh, type msf console the I, you have to be in mf one so now what we am doing is i'm going to uh, set a multi handler so use exploit multi handler and now we have to set the payload so the payload is same payload uh, whatever you set it is android uh, so android metapreter reverse tcp okay and now we have to set the l host so it's basically so in this case you should not set the ng rock you have to set the uh, any connection comes to this one uh, it will be receiving over there so this is what you have to set and l port here is a catch you have to be more careful the l port when you created a ng rock connection right so in my case i have one two three four so you have to give the same thing one now if you see that all set just run so the listener is ready so what i'll do is let me transfer this file to victim machine or sorry uh, android device and let's see what will happening over there okay so i have successfully downloaded the apk file so now let me go and execute this apk file so it is asking since we are downloaded from the outsource it's asking to you so basically we have to go to settings and we have to allow the source to install it so let's go and quickly and you see that the logo is comes from ludo king neat and clean and uh, it is promising way and it is nothing like a uh, malicious or something else so you can easily convince a user or you can drop this apk file in any other malicious way or you can use any other social engineering method you can do it over there so it sees right it is that is why we are used a um, legitimate em uh, apk and we embedded the malicious payload with that apk and we go, finally we got the malicious apk one so let's go and install this one so it's installing it so the installation is done so let me click open I got the backdoor connection of it. See, its reverse shell is opened and I am there. So let's go and try to understand system info. If I click system info, you see that this is an Android and it is running on version 12. Uh, basically, I'm just testing on this 12, but uh, this technical works on 13 as well. So you guys can show and check it. Uh, probably uh, I'm just giving the idea behind of it. So this is basically the SSC education purpose. So you can go it over there. And when you give a help command, a lot of options are there. You can send a SMS to the target sessions. You can dump the SMS, whatever they are there. You can dump the call logs. Uh, probably you can uh, take a screenshot or as I said earlier, you can install some application. So totally you have a complete access, uh, whatever you want it over there. So this is the beauty of uh, in play. So this is how hackers actually hack gaining the access of the android uh, by just embedding their malicious uh, payload with a legitimate one and they doing over there so that's all i have for today uh, thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session i hope you found the content information
If you enjoy this video, please consider giving like to this video and also share your feedback and comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay update on upcoming Android series hacking chapters. Also free to share this complete series video uh, with others who might find it interesting. If you have any questions or need further clarification about anything shown in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me via Discord. Lastly, a big thank you to all my subscriber your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you stay safe stay curious see you soon with another interesting video bye for now take care